In a moment, when I say the number three, you will enter a state of deep relaxation. All the stresses and worries of the day will fall away and you will feel completely relaxed. As you fall towards a state of tremendous well-being, deeper and deeper. One. Deeper. Two. Deeper. Three. What do you want to be when you grow up? When you were a boy, I mean. Rich. I want to say that's mission accomplished. What do you want? What do I want? What does anybody want? Happiness, love, world, peace. That's the six million dollar question, isn't it? You want six million dollars? No. These things take time. It's all tied up in stocks and shares. Shut up. Please, don't kill me. I'm not going to. You're going to disappear. You change your name, you take nothing with you, you tell no one, and you never, and this is the important bit, you never, ever come back. I hear Brazil's nice. Very nice. If you fail in any one of these conditions, I will find you. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just do it. No, really, thank you. I haven't crapped for a week. <sighs> <laughs> This was my job. Your ass is mine now, Miner. When management hears about this, I'll have your head on a plate. Well, make your mind up. Is it my head or my ass you want? A bit of both. Why not do it now, then? I don't want people accusing me of acting unprofessionally. I'll wait for the paperwork. When I have it, no one will be able to save me. Not even Leo. I've been waiting for this day ever since Amsterdam. My name's Milo. I'm 33. Hi. Hi, my name's Milo. I'm 31. I like going out to restaurants. Uh, I like going to the cinema. I love clubbing. Uh, reading, writing, arithmetic, shit. My name's Milo. I'm a professional hitman. And I have been for too long. What am I looking for? I'll... Someone to... Someone to share things with. 
life without secrets. A new beginning, I suppose, if it's possible. <sighs> I've no idea what I'm looking for. I'll know it when I find it. <laughs> I don't think I can go through with this. What are you talking about, Leo? Through with what? Have you seen what happens to people when they retire? Leo, we've been through this. You don't see it as an end, you see it as a new beginning. Life is there for the Taking! What do you think I've been doing for the past 20 years? <laughs> that wasn't quite what I meant. When you say that, you were sitting where I am now. And where's that? I'm in my future. I'm in the Autumn Sun Retirement Village with Stanley. Anyway, that's not why I rang you. You're in deep trouble, my friend. Well, it would seem. Are you having a nervous breakdown? Leo, can we, uh, we talk about this some other time? It's not, uh, it's not really convenient right now. You have to acknowledge that you have a problem before you can fix it, Milo. In the meantime, get out of town. Use the biscuit tin. Go to my place in the country. And there went out another horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Amen to that. And I looked, and behold a pale horse, and him that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him.
Marco? feeling come on lucky off you go who are you i was going to ask you the same question where am i in my house how did i get here in my car you can let go of my arm now Cheap exploded. They don't normally do that. The question is, what were you doing up there? Why is that the question? Cheap don't blow themselves up. You think I did that? I've got better things to do with my time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it is. Where do you think you're going? Thank you for all your assistance. I don't want to take up any more of your time. You're not going anywhere. I'm sorry? Not until I know for sure it wasn't you. You're serious? Deadly. Just look me in the eye and say it wasn't you, then you're free to go. Do you treat all your guests like this? You're not a guest, you're a suspect. Go on. How hard can it be to look someone in the eye and tell them the truth? It wasn't me. That wasn't too hard, was it? You can go now. Thank you. I'll give you a lift if you like. That won't be necessary. I know. Come on. Glock 17 is made almost entirely of plastic, making it undetectable by metal detectors. For this reason alone, it is the handgun of choice for professional assistance. For professional assassins. Thanks again. Take these. Painkillers. They're for dogs. So if you get an urge to cock your leg on a lamppost, don't worry, it'll wear off. Welcome to Wimvid. What am I looking for? Um... Someone to, uh, someone to share things with.
Hello. Nice hat. Hi. She's a beauty, isn't she? Were you on the moors? That's right. Gave Longshanks a right kick in. Historical reenactment society. Longshanks? Edward I, King of England, 1272 to 1307. I can see you're not an historical gentleman. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? What's me? You're him, aren't you? I thought so. I think I think you might have made some sort of mistake. I'm... Oh, no, no, not at all, not at all. We've been expecting you. You have? Yes, I knew it. You're the baker. The baker? The, ba the baker? The baker? <laughs> yes. Yes, of course I am. You know, I tell you what, I knew it the moment you walked through that door there. There's an aura of fresh bread about you. You know, pies, scones, cakes, it's wonderful. You just give it off. I've often thought to myself, there is no nobler craft than the baking of bread. Where, after all, would we be without the humble loaf? Quite. <laughs> Bryn Morgan, local apothecary, brewer of medicinal liquids. Milo. Milo. Yes? Never trust a man who doesn't give his full name. Milo. My, Milo Shakespeare. Shakespeare! Ha! <laughs> oh, there's the smell of blood still. Will all the perfumes of Arabia not sweeten this little hand? Ooh. Macbeth, any relation? To Macbeth? Shakespeare. Not that I know of. Oh, more's the pity. Great man, wonderful writer. Not much hair, though. Never trust baldness. Rhys! Get yourself up here now. This is Milo. Milo Shakespeare. No relation. Rhys Edwards. I own a chop chip. Ship shop, chop chip, ship ship, what you call it? Cod Almighty. I own Cod Almighty. Freshest haddock in the valley. Or fish cakes, or any fish related product, really. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Rhys. <laughs> Nothing better than the smell of fresh fish, is there, Bryn? <laughs> Except the smell of fresh bread, of course. What can we do for you, Milo? I'm just looking for a telephone. Well, I can't stay here forever. They think I'm the baker, Leo. Why didn't you tell me it was a bakery, for Christ's sake? Well, I would have thought it was obvious. From the photo. What photo? With the rest of the information. There was no photo, Leo. That's strange. And does it matter that it's a bakery? Uh, it just might. What was the name of that plastic surgeon? The one that did Victor after the Sao Paulo fiasco? Look, forget the plastic surgeon, Milo. I'm working on it. As we speak, in fact. But it could take some time. Just sit tight. Hello? Hello? Leo? Thanks for the drink, Henry. Be lucky.
not a baker. Who's not a baker? The baker. The baker's not a baker. It's a cover. I see. I don't know why he's here yet. I'm guessing it's a big job. He could be a sleeper. Yeah, yeah, someone who goes in months or years before the job to establish themselves in the community, thereby, you know, uh, avoiding suspicion when the day comes. What day is that, then? Oh, for the hit. The hit? He's a hit, man. You're fired. Huh? I can't have dangerously delusional employees serving my customers. You'll put them off their fish. Take my advice. Stay off the drugs. Well, that's your answer to everything. He's a hitman, I'm telling you. The bakery is a front. Well, my commander will be very interested in this. Your commander? Mm-hmm. Of the alien mothership I come from. See, this shop is just a front. And I'm really an alien. Come here to study the brain activity of imbeciles. That's why I employed you, Eggs. I can prove it. Guess what I've got in my trousers? Oh, God. Eggs, no, don't, please! Bloody hell. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Is it... Is it real? Eggs, give it to me. No. I'm all... No! Give it, no, get, just give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Smells good. One of my patients. You win some, you lose some. So you work here too? Kiss me out in the evenings. Life in the fast lane, eh? Life on the hard shoulders, more like it. Great. Yes, it is. It's great. Which lane do you drive in? What? Well, slow lane, mostly. Sometimes on a crazy day, I might wander into the middle lane. Hmm. So, Milo. What are you running away from? How do you mean? You don't move to a place like Gwynvid unless you're running from something. Yeah, I wanted a change. From what? From what I was doing. What was that? That's baking, of course. But you're still a baker. Yeah, but I'm in, I'm in a different place now. So do you ever stop asking questions? Once they're all answered, does it bother you? Is that why you're here? Are you running from something? What makes you think I'm not from here? Are you? No. So? Have you always been a baker? Not always. Is it true that vets are just doctors who don't like people? Is that why you came here, to be with animals? I met quite a few animals when I lived in the city. Why did you choose Gwynvid? I heard there was a shortage of baked goods. Is that right? That's right. So when do we get our first taste of fresh bread? Oh, you know, soon. I wouldn't leave it too long or people will start to talk. About what? About the baker who doesn't bake. Will you be making donuts? Donuts? The ones with jam in the middle. There's nothing better than biting into a jam-filled donut and feeling the jam squirt out all over your chin, don't you think? Hmm. How's your head? I'll live. Glad to hear it. Enjoy your meal. Doing some baking, are you? Oh, nothing gets past you, does it? Sharp as a spoon and half as useful. Spoons can be very useful.
At this time, the female often gorges to such an extent that the weaker male can be fatally crushed. What can I get you? You go too far. Oh, I go all the way, boy. You ask your wife if you know where she is. I'll see you in the grave, Robert Richards. Well, if I see you there first, Alan Thomas. It's a Glock 17, nine millimeter. My favourite with Hitman, and it's made almost entirely out of plastic and can be dismantled for transportation through airports and other areas of high security. This must go no further, Bryn. No, 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 of course not. What's a baker doing with a gun? He's not a baker. <laughs> oh. Rhys. Yes, dear? I want a word with you. Well, I'm a bit busy now. Of course. I'll be right back. Maybe he's just here on holiday. Then why has he opened a bakery? Is he on a baking holiday? Oh, dear God, whoever heard of a baking holiday? Look, he's just a baker who happens to be a weapons enthusiast. Well, you never know. We think he's a sleeper. Brin! Have you gone completely mad? Oh, 
I'm at mad north, northwest, when the wind is suddenly I know a hawk from a handsaw. What the bloody hell are you talking about? Hamlet. I'm talking about Shakespeare. Oh, there we are then. What? Shakespeare. Yeah? Well, that's it. For God's sake, I'm talking about the baker. Oh, yes, yes, the baker. It was supposed to be a secret. I know, I know, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, you know the way word gets around in this place? I was only gone for ten minutes. See what I mean? Do you think he's asleep, there is? He's here to establish a cover until the big day comes when he has to assassinate someone. Assassinate? Shh! Well, who precisely around here qualifies for that term? It could be any one of us. Who knows who's paying his wages? Don't not to ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Me? What have I done? No, no, not you specifically, Reese. Not no, no. I mean more generally, like you know the. The presidential elections are coming up. <laughs> oh, I don't think president of the local golf club counts as a potential target somehow. It's the oldest cover in the book. Like mafia guys who own pizza restaurants. Except when someone goes in and orders a meat feast, they're not asking for a pizza, if you know what I mean. So what? You go to the bakery, ask for a chocolate sponge, and before you know it, your neighbors pushing up daisies. Oh, wife. Oh, oh dad. dad. Or oh, anyone at all. The baker. That's his code name, probably. It's brilliant. <sighs> but what's he doing here? Whatever the reason, he's here. A professional assassin in our midst. The baker. Don't you work in the chip shop? Afternoons. Two jobs? Not many people could handle that. I can. And a secret identity if I have to. Checking out the competition? Something like that. You're nothing to worry about. Those are terrible. What do people do here in the evenings when they're not sitting on the hard shoulder, you know, for fun? Ah, for fun. You know, the usual. The usual? You know, playing Scrabble, darning socks, advertising the video collection. The usual. <laughs> right, the usual. Right. Occasionally we go on dates. Great. With other village people? He wants to know if she'd like to go on a date with him, but he doesn't know how to ask. She isn't sure if that's such a good idea. I mean, you know, whatever. How about sometime this week? Would that suit her, do you think? I suppose so. Great, she'll check her diary and get back to him. Magic. He can't wait. £5.35, please. Thanks. Guess I'll let you know. Great. Who said romance was dead?
Good morning. How can I help you? Bread? Certainly. White, brown, granary. Hmm? A donut? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? God, what are you thinking of? Hey, have you done those chips yet? Yeah, just about to. Oh. I wonder how much he charges. Oh, who have you got in mind? Hypothetically is what I meant. A samurai never sells himself cheaply. Samurai? Yeah, yeah, samurai. Assassin. Hitman. Problem solver. Cleaner. Terminator, liquidator, mutilator. I think I get the picture. Annihilator, exterminator. Oh. Think you're doing any work today? Or are you just going to stare out to your glass bowl like goldfish? Bring home some fish for your tea. I haven't got time to go to the shops today. Yes, dear. Mind you, some jobs are probably cheaper than others. Go be so with an eight tartin valley. Bashi with a tartin valley, just a pay thing in the tan and merve they van ye. Then come read from me, Ferny Gidigan etan and Delana ye. Ooh, my bun sends Bert on a jowl of it. I'm your man. You better come in. Excuse me, dears, I just have to uh, go out for a minute. Hello? Is anybody there? Ah, Mr. Edwards. Please, Reese. I, uh, I want to talk to you about something. Yes? Is this a good moment? 
Well, uh, actually... It is rather a uh, delicate matter. It's my wife, you see. She's, um... How can I put this? She's, uh... She's squeezing the life out of me. Right. Uh, I am listening. It's just that sometimes I, uh... I, you know, want to do the same to her, but I can't do it. Uh-huh. The thing is, I, I, I'm weak. I don't mean physically, though that might be a problem. It's a, a mental thing, and I was hoping you might be able to uh, do something for me. You know, bake her a cake. Bake her a cake? <laughs> you want me to bake your wife a cake? What kind of cake? Chocolate? Of course I can bake her a cake. Really? Cakes are what I do. So it's true. You are the baker. Yes, I am. There is a uh, small matter of payment. No, no. Consider it a sample of my work. An introductory offer, if you like. Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. You saved me from... Thank you. Thank you. We villagers have to look out for each other. Oh, you're right. So right. <laughs> no, please, no. Not that, please, no, no! <laughs> Magazine. Have you been smoking? <sighs> Get stranger every day. You really are a poor excuse for a man, aren't you? Oh. Not a day goes past that I don't wish I'd listen to my sister. I'll be off then, dear. Have a nice day. So, um, eggs. That's an unusual name. Is it, uh, is it because your father's a, a chicken farmer or? No, because he's a wanker. When can I get started on some real work? The longest journey begins with the first step. Right. The path to enlightenment is littered with dead bodies. What? Wax on, wax off. Love. Go. 
gone forever. song that will forever remind us of Martha, a song that was a personal favourite of hers, a song that she would play over and over and over on our jukebox. Partido no volveré más Y me pintaba las manos y la cara de azul Y me improviso el viento de pido la fiel Y hizo el vol en el cielo Y el vido Looking good, boss. You don't think the tie's too formal? A tie is a symbol of potency. Hmm. Do you think I'm ready? Oh, have you got a date, then? A date with destiny? I'm sure you're not a dead. <laughs> Him. Him? It's Bob Richards tonight. Oh, great. Great, I'm, I'm really happy for you. Well, wish me luck then. You don't need any luck. You're the man. Can I help you? Good choice. Finest pickled eggs in the valley, mm -hmm. if I say so myself.
I'm looking for someone. And I believe you may have come this way. Maybe you can help me. I could certainly try. What are the gloves for? In your pocket, are you just pleased to see me? Oh, it's a tie. But I am pleased to see you, very pleased. <laughs> Come in. Silly of me, now you said it, it's obvious. Well? Mmm. Really? Really. <laughs> it's really... different. I've got to tell you. What is it? I'm not a baker. I mean, I've only, I've only just started baking very recently. Really? I feel like I've been doing it my whole life. You know, or at least I should have been. All these years. When I bake, I'm free. Being free is important. Oh, you, you've got some, um, a little bit of jam on, on you. 
Where? It's just, um... It... Uh... Where is it? Have I got him? No, it's... it's... it's more... Oh, do you like him? No, I, no, I love it. I love it. Carry on, please. <laughs> I only bloody did it. One of you now, and I did what eggs? Who'd have thought he made so much mess? Eggs? What are you talking about? You talking to me? I can't see anyone else out here. <laughs> Should be all right there. <laughs> I think so. Thanks, thanks for your help. I better get going. Sinora, shake your body liner. Shake, 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 Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora, work your body liner. Work, 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 Sinora, work it all the time. You can talk about cha cha, tango waltz, or the rumba. Sinora's dance has more title. You jump in the saddle, hold on to the bridle. Jump in the line, rock your body and time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body and time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body and time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Rock your body and time. Oh. High star skirts a little higher. Jump in the line, rock the body and time. Up the chimney. Jump in the line, rock the body and time.
Paul, Bob, all gone now. Eggs, eggs, eggs. You're drunk. Go back to your caravan. Back to the caravan? There's no going back anywhere for eggs. Forward only. On to the next victim. What do you mean, next victim? You what? I said I killed Bob. I killed Bob. I killed Bob. I killed Bob. You, you, tell me what happened. Well, he was in the kitchen, cooking or something. I went round to the rear window, you know, in the garden, so no one could see me, right? Like a ninja. And I just pulled the gun out and shot him. You, you shot him? Why? I had a date with Destiny. Why did you have a quarrel? A lover's tearful. Huh? Did he try to make you do things you didn't want to do? It's all right, Eggs, you can tell me. What? Go, oh, Eggs, why did you shoot Bob in the garden? I know, I, I know. I should have got inside and done it. I lost my bottle, OK? Couldn't do it face to face. I'm not a professional like you. What did you say? Just want to get out of this village. Live an exciting life. Kill important people. Be a hitman, like you. It was horrible. His chest just seemed to explode. Eggs, I'm a baker. You're the baker. Here, you better have this back. Eggs, why did you kill Bob? He was first in the list. What list? This list! <laughs> I just wanted to be like you. Who else knows? Everyone. I see. Well, except a few. Rihanna doesn't know, obviously, or she wouldn't have... It's all right, thanks, thanks. And the list? Clients. They didn't want cake? No. Bread? Is there anybody in this village who doesn't want someone dead? Possibly Mrs. Pritchard. You didn't know. Well, that's it then. Oh, no. Rhiannon, please. What do you want? I want to talk to you. And I can explain. You can explain. Go on, then. Everyone has got a few skeletons in their closet. That's supposed to be a figure of speech. You lied to me. What else is there to say? I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you everything. I'd say the fact that you used to be a professional assassin is more than just a detail in your past, wouldn't you? Why have I got it wrong? Just look me in the eye, Milo, and tell me the truth. That's all I ask. It's not too hard, is it? Have I got it wrong? No. I really thought you were different. Rhiannon, give me a chance. A man can change. I'm not that person anymore. I'm a baker now. You know what? I don't want to hear it. Goodbye, my love. Have a nice life. Actually, I don't even care what kind of life you have. Just have it somewhere else. I was very happy on the hard shoulder. Rhiannon, please. I can't justify what I did or, or, or what I used to be. But all, I, all I know is what the future could be, and it, and it could be great. No, it could have been great, Milo. It could have been. You're leaving. I wouldn't expect you to understand, Eggs. But I do. 
time for the gunman to ride off into the sunset. All alone. No one to worry about you. No ties to any community. No one to mourn you when you finally meet your match. Take me with you. I know I'm not cut out for the killing part, but you're bound to need an assistant. Someone to book your jobs. Take your shirt to the dry cleaners. Wipe clean the crime scene. It's a tempting offer. But I'm gonna have to pass. What happened? A blonde man with rubber gloves. He, he did things. It was horrible. But that's not the worst part. What, what can be worse than that, Lisa? That's depraved. I know, but the worst Good part... Good afternoon, lady. <laughs> Bob! <laughs> Bob! You're alive! He's alive! You're... Gorgeous, I know. Don't wet yourself oh, about it. it. I was saying the worst part is... But, but how? Must well, some of us just have it, eh? But last night! Please! Oh, it's important! Get off! Bob, what happened? Happened last night. Ah! Bloody thing went everywhere. Ah! What the hell's got into you, Piper? Quiet! He's got Rhiannon. Where is he? At the castle. It's you he wants. Then it's me he'll get. Why does he want him? Isn't he Baker? No. He's the Baker. You know what? He's right. I am just a Baker. And I did really think you were ordering cakes. I just wanted to start again. Thought this would be a good place to do it. I thought you were good people. At least we don't go around blowing up people's wives. Well, you think I had something to do with Martha's death? I, I, what are you implying? Whatever happened, I had nothing to do with it. Didn't you? Then how? This is a list of orders for cakes. It details precisely who wanted what kind of cake and for whom. Everyone deserves a second chance. to you all. How did you get like this? If it was one of you out there, Milo would do something about it. Do you know why? Because he's our friend. Eggs is right. Milo is our friend. He's one of us. And if we can't help one of our own, then what hope is there for any of us? I've learned something from our baker. Apart from how easy it is to get somebody killed. And that's that everybody deserves a second chance. Milo, he deserves a second chance. Come on. Hey, what do you say? Why do we... Why do we do something together for once? Why do we show some of that good and good spirit? And go and kick some ass! Let's go and rescue a Baker! Right, it's me and you then, eggs. Let her go, Bjorn. Mm. Oh no, the Baker's here. She's nothing to do with this. 
Oh, but she is. Mm. What are you going to do, dough boy? Beg me a cake? I'm not coming back, Bjorn. So you can run along and tell the company. Ah, oh, yes, the company. They did ask me to do something for you. Now, what was it? Um, something about taking care of you. That's so thoughtful. But this isn't for the company, Milo. This is for me. What do you mean it's for you? Do you know how long I waited for you on that bridge in Amsterdam? In the pouring rain, watching the barges and the Amstel flow past? Hours. I thought that finally I found something good. Something real. But finally this crazy world made some kind of sense. Now I see it's just what I thought it was. Dark, cruel, absurd. Bjorn, we've been through this. I think you're an interesting guy with a lot of really fun instincts, but what you want is not possible for so many reasons. As for Amsterdam, I'm not really sure... Forget it. It's all water under the bridge now. Under that lonely, lonely bridge. She means nothing to me. Mm. It was just a night of fun. Oh, lucky girl. Oscar Wilde once said, we always kill the ones we love. He was right about so many things. <laughs> Wait! Let's do this properly. Milo, you never cease to amaze me. This time I fear you've bitten off more than you can chew. I will make this painless and fair. As Oscar Wilde once said, always play fairly when you're holding the winning cards. your little friends to stay out of this. This has nothing to do with them. Oh, yes, it has. He's our baker. You take him on, you take us all on. I just want to live a normal life, Bjorn. Doing something I love. Possibly with someone I love. 
Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. And I don't think you think so either. You call this normal? It's as close as I'm ever likely to get. You love her. Maybe she loves you. You might even be happy together. But then again, there is the chance that she'll break your heart. And then you'll feel what I felt. And that will be worse than death. You know what? I'm willing to take that chance. <laughs> oh! been busy? Leo, what are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. Made yourself quite at home, haven't you? I know I said you should blend in, but this is taking a bit far, don't you think? How's retirement? Retirement was never going to do it for me, Milo. I need to work at my hands dirty, so I instigated a takeover bid. Hostile, of course. And I'm pleased to say it was completely successful. New management team with me at the top. You can come back. Thanks. But no thanks. Oh, it's entirely safe. Any employee loyal to the old management has been removed. So there's no reason for you to stay here any longer, is there? Actually, there is, Leo. They need a baker. What are you trying to tell me? That you're going to be a baker? I'm saying that I already am a baker, Leo. So unless it's a baker that the company needs, I don't think I'll be of any use to you. Milo, please tell me you're joking. Milo! I suppose this is the punchline. I've seen many a good man go like this. Very messy. And this? Well, I'll give you a fair price. You're serious. Milo? Hey! Hey, sorry, I, um, was just... Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Fine, I was just getting some... You know, and then I, then I remembered that... Nervous. Does it show? Not at all. Good. Rhiannon, um... This is, um... This is what? day of my life. <clears throat> I can't hold him much longer. Ah, I now pronounce what you call it, Shakespeare's cake, officially open. <laughs> Oh, my God. 